The bad news is we have reached our absolute last sneak of the night. Is there anything you want to do on stage with, you know, you want to have another competition with the hammer or you're good? No, I don't want you to lose. Okay, that's fair. So I've had a whole lot of fun up here and uh, before we... Ready? She's Go ready. Like this, shake it up. Okay, yeah, she's ready. So before we show our next sneak, I have a question for you. Yes. What are your thoughts on data and analytics? Are you a big fan, a little sus? What do you think? I have no idea what you're talking about. Data and analytics? Data analytics? What yeah. is that? You know, analyzing the success of your website, your I marketing. I don't look at all that stuff. You, okay. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll turn you into a fan just all right, yet. Let's do it. All right, Tanya. So Tanya's here to show off her project, Project Infographic. Let's see it. Thanks, Eric. So, hey, Jack. Hey, everyone. So today, we will explore the world of infographics a powerful medium that helps condense complex data sets into easy to understand visual stories. However, making one from scratch requires expertise on design tools like Adobe Illustrator, familiarity with data wrangling, and experience with plotting software. Instead, Project Infographic allows us to create one instantly, just by typing out the story you want to tell in just a few clicks. So let's say you want to tell a story about Shaq's legendary basketball career. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the official data sets of his games, so let's talk about another completely unrelated player in an alternate universe, Shock, instead. So we have some synthetic data about Shock's basketball career, which we're imported into our system, and we want to convey that he is one of the greatest basketball players and centers of all time, that below is a detailed look at the makes and misses locations for his two-pointers, and that in particular, a lot of his career highlights happened while he was wearing purple and gold. So to start, let's go to our text panel and highlight any text. Uh, what this does is it pops up a menu of five options. A graph or data visualization, a data fil filter, a static image, an animated image, as well as a color palette, which our system can recommend based on whatever phrases we highlight. So Shaq, two options for you. Out of a graph or an image, which one do you want to see first? Image. Image? Okay. So let's select uh, the, fr the phrase basketball and ask for an image recommendation. Now our system will then look in our database of both custom and Firefly generated images and extract the most semantically similar images to the word basketball. Now let's go ahead and add a court as well as an image of a basketball to our canvas. Let's move that and make it a little bigger. Okay, so next let's add shocks, shot locations directly on top of this court. To do this, let's select the phrase makes and misses locations for his two pointers, but this time ask for a graph recommendation. Now, this selected text fragment will be processed as a query to a large language model that parses the semantic meaning of the text. Now, we have a couple of options to choose from, but since we want shot locations, a scatter plot will make the most sense. Let's go ahead and add that to our canvas. And wow, it seems like he's made a lot of shots and scores near the basket. Looking familiar? <laughs> That would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and remove the axes as well to clean it up a little bit. And I did have one three-pointer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next let's really emphasize that a lot of his career highlights happened while he was wearing purple and gold. So let's go ahead and select that and this time ask for a color recommendation. Now, out of these three colors, Shaq, which one looks the best to you? That one. This one? No, the middle one. The middle one, okay. Yes. So using now Adobe Firefly is generated every color, we can automatically apply the color to our scatter plot. Now finally, let's look into when and where these shots occurred. So let's select the phrase throughout his career and again ask for a graph recommendations. And I have a question. Yes. Is there a reason you don't have any made shots by the free throw line? <laughs> <laughs> It's synthetic data. It's so. shock. No, it's shock, not shock. Okay, so. got it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't miss that many. Jeez. <laughs> I missed a lot, but not that many. I think you only got one. <laughs> it's crazy. Now, it seems like we have sessions for both the quarter as well as the team that these games were played in. So we can keep iterating, adding more graphs, images, or text and refine them to create a more complete infographic. So that was a simple example, but what if we wanted something more advanced? So. Yeah, yeah we can clap for that. Oh yeah. yeah. That was nice. That's cool. 
So uh, DJ Diesel, we're really looking forward to your performance soon at Bash, and I want your thoughts. So how do you think our friend Shock's DJ career is going? Pretty good. <laughs> well, you'll be right. So we also have some fake data on the top 10 highest earning DJs in this fictional universe, and Shock, or DJ Petrol, happens to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Petrol. <laughs> And where is DJ on Reddit? <laughs> <laughs> so our system not only allows us to create these infographic assets easily, but also empowers us to see how they evolve over time. So as before, we've already imported our data set and, and created some assets. But this time, let's animate it. So this line chart on the bottom here showcases the earnings of each DJ over each month, color-coded by DJ names. So we can animate it by cycling through each DJ and watching the earnings go up and down to see how much they have earned. And we see that DJ Petrol in turquoise here is really consistently high. Once it's done, it'll get added to our canvas. Similarly, for the circle plot, the radius of each circle corresponds to the earnings of that DJ. This time, instead of over DJs, we can animate it by cycling through each month instead and watch the circles post date getting larger and smaller to understand how much each DJ has earned. And similarly, once done, it will get added automatically to our canvas. And again, we see that DJ Petrol is doing consistently very well with his large, uh, giant turquoise circle. So again, we can keep adding more animations, graphs, or images until we have a complete infographic. Oh yeah, that's great. That's awesome. <laughs> So our final infographic that we've made using this system also showcases the many products that Shock has endorsed in this universe. And in particular, the Shock phone seems to be doing really well. So overall, we see how Project Infographic allows us to create these rich infographics that have use cases in many applications like sports journalism and marketing. And with a few clicks, you too can create an engaging, data-driven visual story. So if you like this sneak and want to see it added to our product roadmap, please be sure to post about it using our hashtag, Project Infographit. Thank you. Woo. Great job. Thanks.